हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर न्यू चैप्टर इन ज्योग्राफी चैप्टर टेन क्लास सेवेंथ लाइफ इन द टेम्परेट ग्रासलैंड इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू सो हाउ वेरी द लाइफ एंड पीपल कैन बी ऑल दो द नेम ऑफ द रीजन साउंड सिमिलर एज रिवर बेसन इन दिस चैप्टर we shall see another two regions which sound similar as the grasslands in north america and those in south africa we have seen life in the equatorial and subtropical regions of amazon and ganga brahmaputra basin the land was different in term of the flora and fauna and more importantly the people and their habitation let us now see the life and geographical peculiarities in the grasslands of the temperate zone with specific reference to the prairies in north america and the veldts also known as veldts of south africa the prairies location prairies are a huge expanse of land which are known for tall grasses and very few trees they are located in the heart of america with the northern boundaries extending into southern canada climate the climate of the prairies is affected by its mid continental location and the protective effect of the rock uh, rocky mountains they are located far from the oceans and prevented from their moderating effect on the climate thus this area has a wide range of temperatures with hot summers and cold winters strong winds blow across the endless plains during both summers and winters large part of the prairies get covered with snow during winters the fast blowing winds named chinook are known to the effect temperatures in a big way and also melt up away snow annual average rainfall is moderate and now to be around 50 cm in a year flora and fauna climate is more moist close to the mountains and to the east and the north they are driest in the central portions this create different types of prairies the wetter regions have taller grasses like the big blastum and indian grass many species of flora flowers grow here the plants can sometimes grow to be 10 feet tall some such trees are willows poplars and alders the grasslands have lesser wildlife as compared to the forest bison or the american buffalo was found prairies dogs rabbits coyotes and goofers are commonly spotted people and their occupations the grasslands have now been extensively cultivated people have settled down here and have made use of the fertile soil huge farms have come up wheat is the main crop with modern equipment and technology this area produce large amount of wheat prairies are also called the granary of the world corn barley peas and oats are also grown here the farmers of the prairies have a large piece of land they have resources to buy high technology farm equipment like tractor seed drill combine harvesting their dairy animals and livestock are also managed with care and they use the best veterinary support to maintain the quality of their livestock today very little of the original prairies survive only 1 to 2% of the land in left in its natural state much of the land has been converted for agricultural use 
urban areas are coming up fast the genetic and biological diversity of the plants are slowly disappearing the herds of the thousands of bisons have been wiped out the wells location the wells are the grasslands found in south africa the term wells sometimes spelled well in english is a term used to define certain wide open rural spaces of south southern africa it is used in particular to refer to flatter areas or districts covered in grass or low scrub especially in south africa zimbabwe botswana and namibia climate the climate remains warm and humid for most part of the year but the higher regions remain cool the climate of the wells is highly variable but its general pattern is mild winter from may to september the summer from november to march are mild with considerable variety in daily temperatures and abundant sunshine rain mostly occur in the summer months in the form of high energy thunder storms flora and fauna in the high wells areas are the open woodland savanna dominated by tall perennial grasses and flowering herbs which is rarely catch fire during the dry season the low wells everywhere support a park like plant cover in the higher area the characteristic trees are akai and maruala the later bearing in intoxicating plum like fruit the open ground is dominated by red grass these grasslands are home to a great variety of animals like the lions cheetah elephant rhinos hippopotamus giraffe antelopes buck and zebra people and their occupations most of the people in this region live in villages this region is largely unsuitable for cultivation but good for grazing people keep herd of cattle sheep rearing in undertaken extensively merino wool is the prominent produce here dairy farming is the other popular occupation cattle are maintained and cheese and milk are produced in huge quantity in these areas the people grow some maize and vegetables beside maize and wheat tobacco and fruits are also grown the region is rich in minerals and is the world's largest produce of gold johannesburg is the famous for gold mining and kimberley for diamonds thank you students